Hey lovely, so today I'm taking you with me to two different Asian markets here in St. Louis, Missouri. It's about an hour and a half away from home. So right now we are in Pan Asia. I'm actually both with my friends Liz and Charmaine because we are also planning for a Filipino boodle fight next week which is a traditional Filipino method of eating with our bare hands. Because we're planning to do that, then we have to do some groceries to buy the ingredients that we needed for the recipes. You know when you're living in a different country, you will absolutely miss the food from home. So for us to get over that feeling, we find ways to make our food as authentic as it can be. And, and we are very fortunate that we have Asian grocery stores here. So, I saw these beautiful bowls and took two pieces for myself and for hubs. However, I ended up leaving them because it's really expensive and seems like I just want it, not needing it. I think we gotta shop smart, you know? We prefer to buy the pork belly here because it has thick fats. Compared at a local grocery store, the meat is very lean. It just doesn't work with some Filipino recipes. What's <laughs> it We're heading to the next market which they call global market from the word global they sell variety of foods from different countries so they display and organize their items per aisle which is very convenient for their customers Sí, que se lo... 
Oh, ni akong ipangita. Martin. Ano, ni mahal siya. Six, six. So most of us Filipinos love to eat rice in the morning. So I'm definitely grabbing the Filipino style hot dogs and tocino, which are great for rice. Also grabbing a frozen sabaw, which is a kind of banana. And of course, a variety of shopau because they're my favorite. Lamik ni. Katun ni mga ingon. So yeah, I am going to meet my friends later today because last week we actually went to an Asian store and, you know, got a lot of goodies and we actually plan to make some food today, some Filipino food, like it's just like a small gathering for us. So I am going to be the one to make for the seafood my cat. <laughs> so I will be the one to make the seafood for my friends in it's basically just Cajun seafoods and we bought some shrimps at the Asian store or the Asian market and yeah all I gotta do today or this morning is to prep the sauce that I will be using and I'm gonna do the cooking at my friend's house.
I love so I'm heading to Liz's house right now and then we're gonna wait for Mindy and then we are gonna go to Rich Fountain to um, meet Charmaine so I'll just gonna see you whenever I arrive there or maybe when we are at Charmaine so see ya We are going to make four types of dishes for the boodle fight. First is the humba, which is a braised pork belly and has a slight sweet taste. Cajun shrimp, which will make it spicy. Vegetable soup, as well as Vietnamese rice paper roll. Right now I'm making the toppings which is a caramelized brown sugar and tapioca pearls for the tahol and it will be our snack when we start watching the movies. I have been craving for this snack for weeks and I'm really excited for this. Once it's cooked and ready, just set aside. Time for the Cajun shrimp to shine. It's very quick and simple to make. Melt the butter, saute so chopped garlic and onions, and then add spices and dump the shrimp. Make sure not to overcook the shrimp or else it becomes rubbery. By the way, we use unpeeled shrimp because it's more tasty, I guess. Our friend Mandy is now making the pork kumba and her recipe is our favorite. We also couldn't skip the oten bisaya which is a vegetable soup because this is perfect for the cold season. We don't use any utensils for the budo fight. Dishes are placed on a banana leaves instead of plates. Don't forget to wash the leaves. Typically we have to slightly wheel the leaf through the open flame but we skip that part. Once the food is ready, then it's time to fight. I mean, eat. This may be really informal and intimate method of eating, but this is really fun to do with your family and friends. <laughs> Yeah, 
Alright lovelies, bye for now. That's the end of the vlog and thank you once again for being here and for those who are new here, please 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 subscribe and hit that bell button thing to keep you posted. I love you all. Bye!